Holborn's always been best known as a thriving fishing town, and you'll still get crabs here. But I've got a day before my gig in Oban's Corin Halls. That's them over to the left of my van. So I thought I'd show you my favourite ferry trip in Scotland. Because you get thrown out of Travelogue Club if you don't have a boat moment. This is the ferry journey from Oban over to Mull, and I've done it loads and loads of times. And what I love about it is the light changes every time. It's a different journey every time. Look at that, you can see how even in the breaks in the cloud, it changes it. And it's starting to rain, but like, I used to think, oh, Scotland's beautiful, but it rains. And then gradually you realise Scotland's beautiful because it rains. So it feels amazing just to be here. It's interesting to try and talk about something like the Scottish landscape, because I used to watch Billy Conley, you know, when I was younger, and I loved the way he talked about it, because he has such enthusiasm. And he's like, really atypical for a Scottish man, really. But then I think a lot of people came after that who were saying things like, you know, they try and look terribly sort of wind-tossed and go, Scotland, the land of contrasts. Well, some of it is, some of it isn't. That's what makes it such a land of contrast. I suppose part of what I feel is I look at places across there and I kind of fantasise, I go, oh, imagine living over there. And it's a good fantasy, but then you sort of realise that there's no shops and you'll be dead in a week. 